Okay, people. So now it is uh, October 4th, 2019. I'm in Auntie Shemay's room. Can you hear it echoing? It's echoing because it's pretty much empty right now. I'm just bringing in a couple of things, trying to uh, gather my feelings about this situation, people. This is, uh, believe it or not, <laughs> this is Shemay's graduation dress when she graduated from high school. I bought it for her and she wore it. If you've been watching my videos, you would have seen her wearing it. Anyway, um, it's been in the closet in the corner, believe it or not, for all this time. <laughs> I came down here today just to finish up cleaning up the floor for the things that Edgar left behind, but he showed up, right? And, uh, you know, he ended up carrying on where I left off and I said did you know that Shemay's uh, graduation dress was up in your closet this whole time and he never noticed it he said so anyway Shemay has never left this room people I'm trying to what I'm trying to do here is oh god I'm trying to get this uh, dress on this dressmaking form so that when I leave the room, it's there. It doesn't seem to want to go over the hips for whatever reason. <laughs> so anyway, this is what I'm thinking. That's about going over. She made was tiny. Those hips aren't that big on this dressmaking form. So anyway. She may, uh, what I'm, what I'm, what I'm feeling, not what I'm thinking, is uh, the back door is open right now. Hold on a minute. The back door is open right now, and uh, I don't feel safe, people. Only because my daughter was murdered down here in the living room, and she didn't come to her bedroom when Tisha got home that morning at 7 o'clock. She didn't come into her own room and go to sleep, people. She went into the living room so that she could avoid that man that was sleeping in her bed. Well, he wasn't sleeping. He was pretending to sleep. Because if he was sleeping, he wouldn't have been in the kitchen at 5 to 9 as my daughter was literally dying with the death rattle. And then, because Tisha was in the kitchen, I'm going to try it over the shoulders, because Tisha was in the kitchen, he dashed back off into here and hid out in here and then didn't go and call for, he didn't even call for help, people. He didn't even call for help. He just went into Tisha's doorway and stood there and looked at her and said Shemay wasn't responding and then stood back and watched everything unfold. And then when the cops showed up and the paramedics showed up, right, that's when he stood. Oh, oh, Shemay! Oh, Shemay! Shemay! So I had to fucking deal with him and his bullshit. So I wasn't paying attention to what those motherfuckers were doing with my daughter's body before they carried it out. Because they didn't want to do a, an investigation and put a murder in jail. Instead, they chose to, uh, look how tiny my daughter was. <laughs> Instead, they chose to, uh, what do you call it? Harvest her organs. So, because of that, I feel unsafe down here with the door open. Because I don't know when this bastard's going to show up and fucking hot cat me. Or maybe somebody affiliated to him that wants to uh, protect him for their own reasons. Right. Because just too much shit's gone on. 
too much denial. Too many fucking head games. Just too much bullshit. I don't know how big my daughter was, but she was not very big. Look at this. How the hell did she fit into this thing, people? <laughs> like, I don't even know how she fit into this. I'm pretty sure this is the same dress. She's a tiny. She could get big, though. Right? Because she took after her dad with the big hips. She had the booty on her. Right? She got that from her dad. But she liked to body build. You know, she looked after herself. Right? What's going on? So, yeah. I'm a little spooked with the door open. I'm hoping that fear will go away. But I don't think it ever will, people. I don't think it will ever go away. Even if I was to move, if I was anywhere in the near vicinity, I'd still feel the same. No justice, no peace, right? And when people are trying to cover up fucking crimes, they go to buy, you know, they, they go through... Yeah. They go through, uh, you know, they, they do anything to save their asses. Wow. Now, Shemay had a 22-inch waist. And, she, you know, wide hips. Right? So, this waist would be practical for Shemaine because her waist was tiny. Now I think I have a dressmaking form that's smaller than this one because this one is just your standard I, American size, size 8. How the hell she got into this, I don't know, but she did. Because look at that. Do you see? Look at that back. Hmm? So when I leave this room, I'm just going to upload this video as is because, uh, you know, what am I going to say, people? Right? What am I going to say? I'm in a room that my daughter should be in. She should be making plans after now working for a year and a bit. Right? She should have had money banked away for college to go be the nurse that she wanted to be and she should be making plans now to be uh, going to college to be an RN that was her plan I got this one I'm gonna hang this one up one day Obviously, I always wanted to teach my kids how to sew, but when you're a mother of five looking after, you know, an Uncle John, right, and doing the majority of the work, there's only so much in a day that you can do, right? Believe it or not, my son will actually sit down in front of a sewing machine and try and sew for himself if he's determined to make himself a Halloween outfit and no one's there to help him. <laughs> He'll do that. So this is not just the ladies' room. The guys can come in here and sew too if they want, right? <clears throat> so anyway, now that I have the room, and, um, you know, the best that I can do for my kids right now that are with me and my grandchildren is to provide them this opportunity to uh, learn, grow, experiment, you know, build on skills, and be creative. So this is what this room is about. And, um, I don't know. In this area here, I'm going to have food storage. I'm going to block it off and insulate it towards the wall so that the wall is cold. It will absorb, the, you know, the, um, the coolness of the wall itself. And that should help to preserve food. <coughs> right? And that's just this little corner in here. And then I've got tons of fabric people. Wait until you see. 
So we're going to stack the bins, I think, right up in here, just a fabric, right? And I'm going to bring down a lot of fabric and organize it because it's, you know, it's not really organized the way I would want it to be, right? So we're going to organize fabric. And through this process, this is something that I always wanted to teach my girls or my son, right? It was to how to make their own body form so that when they sew for themselves, they have their own body form to um, make adjustments on as they're sewing their outfit for their body. So I've always wanted to do that. I've been wanting to do that for years and years and years and years, but never really had the available space, never had the time. <coughs> you know, kids were young, right, whatever. You know, I mean, at some point I was going to do these things with Shimei. I can't do them with Shimei, but... We'll do them in spirit with Shmei through that uh, soul train. I have a wipeout board here, and I'll bring a pegboard. But the wipeout board will be used for, um, because lots of times, I, well, not lots of times, but in my videos, I have said in the past, you know, I want to bring out a map, and, or I, I want to do, you know, something in writing in terms of, uh, uh, right? So that you can see it, right? And then, um, so I'm going to set up a little area just for that, like with my boards. And, and, and then come down here and, you know, let's say I want to talk about fentanyl from province to province or from state to state. And, you know, we need that visualization to show that this is a pre-designed um, method to depopulate the population in Canada and the United States with fringe benefits when it relates to organ harvesting, whether it's being done legally with puppies and kittens or whether it's being done illegally with ghouls and vampires, right? Because they're both happening under the umbrella of the fentanyl crises in both countries. So at some point I'd like to incorporate these boards with that information because this is serious it is serious that I'm in my daughter's room how many months later a year and a half in April of next year it will be two years people so we're past the year and a half mark since my daughter's been dead and there's been absolutely no justice and she did not come into this room that morning specifically to avoid that man if she wanted to be with that man, she would have crawled into bed with that man. But she didn't. She went into the living room, she did a Snapchat, she had a smoke, and then she was hot capped. And then she died. And her sister happened to witness it. And I had the forevision to see it happen before it even happened. So this is going to be a room that's going to, uh, I don't know, people. Like, for example, this do-rag. This is a small one. It's not very big. I know you can't really see it. Anyway, we're going to start off with some do-rags, assuming that I can find the fabric. <coughs> and uh, there's a couple of ideas that I want to do with these. All right. People like them out here when I make them. They sell pretty fast. Well, the only problem is I want a bit more money than the standard do-rag you would find anywhere else because mine don't come from China. Mine are handmade with love. <laughs> right. So, to get Tisha used to the machines, I know I don't suit do-rags, but anyway, to get Tisha used to machines, we'll start off with some do-rags, keep it simple. Right. And we'll make a batch, and then we'll just see what happens from there. Right? 
ultimately I'd like to have a manufacturing company that does it as a business and as a nonprofit to not only employ people but to build in program development for the communities more than one. Not really my style, but <laughs> you get the point, right? So, okay, so here's the room. There's one board. I may or may not have others around. If not, I'll buy another one. I used to have really nice big ones, but whatever. I can't keep everything in life. Some shit does get ruined. There is Shemay's, for whatever reason, people, there is Shemay's graduation dress still in her bedroom after all this time. So it's telling us something. I don't know what this dress is telling us, but there's a reason why it's here. We just haven't figured it out yet. Okay, maybe we'll start a scholarship fund in here or something for young people. I mean, anything's possible. In this corner now, this here is blown off heat. I don't like it because I want to store food in here. So I'm going to try and uh, make it so that the heat doesn't come in, right? And then this corner in here, now I have a fridge outside that I want to bring in because I don't want it in the garage, right? So I'm thinking maybe I'll just put the fridge in this corner, right? It will sit there nice. And then in that fridge, so hold on a minute. And then in that fridge, what I'm going to do is that's when we're going to get into yogurt making, pudding, pudding making, you know, and, and then, of course, I got, like, fermented pickles upstairs, cucumbers that I'm fermenting right now. <clears throat> and then once they're done, I'll rejar them, bring them back down here, and then just put them in the fridge down here and use them as we need them. But mainly it's going to be for ice cream, pudding, yogurt, so that when I make big batches, right, like when I use, like, Oh, I don't know. We'll just say five to eight jugs of milk at a time and just make a big batch of everything in a day or two and then it all goes into the fridge and you're good for two weeks. That's mainly what I want to use it for. Or when summer comes and the food starts coming in, the best thing you can do is pick it and put it into the fridge right away, right? So I, 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 I don't really want a fridge in here, but then I want the... the um, I want it under lock and key. I don't want it in my garage where any Tom, Dick, or Harry, or stray cat can open it up and do as they please with it, right? So I'm going to probably put the fridge there. And then from that point, you know, I'm not going to put a lot of food storage in here. Just some. And depending on how cool the room gets, right? You know, so Shimei's mirror. Hold on. There we go. Shimei's mirror. Shimei's closet. That's where her dress was, and it looks like she's got something else up here. I don't know what this is, people. I've only been in this room about six times since she's been dead. And the last two times, three times, was because of, uh, look at that, was because of, uh, here's her hat, was because of uh, the guys coming down here working now. So I've been down here a couple times, but since Shemay was dead up until last week, I only was in here like four times with her two tips. So bins in here, fabric, uh, got a little shelf, Edgar left that behind for me, right, there's Shemay's bed frame, still, after all this time, right, so this will be fabric, fridge will probably go there, sorry I'm moving around too fast, I know, but even if I was to go slow, YouTube is screwing around with videos, 
So more than likely a fridge in that corner. And then I'll just put in a little bit of food storage. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to block it off. You're going to see I'm going to block it off with something. And then I'm going to hang this really nice tapestry down. So that when you want to get into the food area, you, you know, well it depends because the fridge is going to be there. So it's hard to say. Right, okay. And then in this corner, I'm putting desks in here. I'm putting a desk here. And I'm putting a desk here. It looks like there's only one plug there. Right? So we got one plug there. One plug there. Only two plugs in this room. I see only two. Okay. But that's fine. I can run extensions. And then so desk. Desk. And then probably a little sewing table here. Just a small one. I have a small table. So I would just put a nice little table here. And then the bins. And then of course we're going to have anywhere from two to three, maybe four, dressmaking forms. Maybe. And that's pretty much what it's going to be about. And then we're just going to try and build on it. Tisha's already brought these outfits from upstairs down so and she took one <laughs> she loved it I told her I said well if you're gonna keep it the only thing I want to do is do a little video on it and you have to promise me to look after it right it's a really nice one it's that teal one so she's gonna wear it on Halloween with her boyfriend she's already taken it so yeah. So now we're just going to lock up the window and leave it as is for now. Right? Hold on. 